Hi everyone and welcome back to The Guest Life. So today I'm just going to video a quick little review on our hydraulic wood splitter. It's definitely one of my favorite off-grid tools that makes my life a lot easier. Here's the full set of tools that I use when I'm chopping all of my wood. I've got my splitting axe which has a thicker wedge, my kindling axe which has a thinner wedge head, and then the star of the show is our Sun Joe hydraulic log splitter. So it's a pretty simple concept. This left hand lever has less force, but it goes at a faster rate. And then I switch to my right hand lever, which has greater force, but it goes at a slower rate. So I'll usually use both of them at the same time to move it as fast as possible. Then when I get to my log, if I just absolutely can't go anymore, I'll switch to the higher force one. And that last few strokes of that will usually split my log. And then once the log splits, I just release my air, turning this counterclockwise, and it pulls the hammer back. I usually won't put it all the way back when I'm going to split another log, because then I don't need to spend a whole bunch of time getting my hammer back to where I need it to be. I don't have the best upper body strength in the world, and the trees that we're dealing with around here are spruce and birch. Um, if it was jack pine that was perfectly seasoned, or poplar that's perfectly seasoned, they split really easily. But... I find with the spruce, they have a lot of big knots in them and the birch is a harder wood, especially the ones that we're trying to get. We get, it's a dead tree, but it's not completely dried out yet so that it gives us longer burn time and we mix that in with the spruce. But those two types of wood, especially when we get the really big spruce, are hard for me. I can be working on a single log for half an hour completely out of breath and I'm barely getting the littlest crack. So this thing has saved me a lot of time and has paid for itself over and over again. So I'll take you through a demonstration of how our little Sun Joe splitter saves my life. Okay, so this as an example, this is perfectly fine seasoned wood. It's even got some ant activity in there. There's hairline splits along here and only one big knot that I have to worry about because knots you need to make sure you are axing with them not against them because it'll never split because that knot will travel all the way through the wood and your axe won't be able to go through it so you have to go with it and that should split your wood. Now this is an example of a decently seasoned log and I have already put energy of eight to nine swings into it which is fine. I would eventually be able to split this, working from other angles, waiting for the hairline cracks to get bigger. But just to show you how much easier it is with the hydraulic splitter, at least to get my initial split. On really cold days, the only thing about this is the hammer will, if on a full stroke, the hammer moves like that much. And sometimes I can't split wood at all, but on decently warm days, it works perfectly. And I'm talking cold days like minus 30, minus 25 or colder probably. beautifully split with pretty much zero energy. It works really well with our birch. We try to get several trees every time that we're going out for a big haul of birch that aren't really dried out yet. Like they're quite heavy for how small they are and we call them our bedtime birch. And at night, especially when it's super cold out, we'll put two, sometimes three of these in the fire and our fire will last for a whole 12 hours. So you don't have to get up in the middle of the night and stuff it, which is great. But these, when they're not super dried out and really seasoned, the birch uh, wood almost twists itself into the tree and splitting it is really tricky for me. These ones I can't do at all and they pop right open on the hydraulic splitter. It's quite nice. I'll show you one of those. And see how I won't back them up all the way? when I'm doing wood because then I can just release some air, close it off, it doesn't take me a long time. 
and there's two settings. This one is going to give me a longer stroke and this one a shorter stroke for once it gets harder. So I can get to it faster this way. Once I can barely push this one anymore, then I can use this one. But if I could do both, I will. So it's much faster. There. Easy peasy. I checked it out online and it's priced at roughly around $500, I want to say. I can't say the exact amount that it cost because my wonderful brother-in-law actually gifted it to the cabin and it has been saving my life ever since. So if you can't tell from the review so far, I absolutely love our little hydraulic splitter. Uh, the only downfall I can think of is that it doesn't like to split very well when it's really cold out. But I mean, if you're planning your splitting days around cold snaps, then it works perfectly fine. I've had some experience with electric um, splitters before and they, that one didn't even work if it was like minus 10 out, it kept blowing the breaker. So this thing requires no electricity. It's super low maintenance. We've had it for gosh, I'd like to say probably five or six years and it's still working perfectly fine. And it's never left me stranded when trying to split a log. So big thumbs up for this one. Thanks for watching the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.